Hi, I'm Lindsay, and today we are watching Freerin episode 5. So on the last episode, Fern and Freerin helped clean up a beach um, for a small village in time for the New Year's festival. Uh, where they watch the sunrise. And we learn that Freerin, uh, one, she hates the cold, but also, two, she hates waking up early. And we see that in the past, she missed out on a memory with the crew because she didn't see the importance of seeing the sunrise and she'd just rather sleep. But luckily, once she saw it with Fern, she realized what it was all for, what this was all about. So Furin and Fern meet up with Aizen, who we have not seen since episode one, and I'm glad to know he's still alive. And he told Furin that his wish was for her and Himmel to talk again so that she could express her regrets in not getting to know him as well in his lifetime. And in a flashback, we meet Furin's master, Flame the Legendary Mage, who I saw in the intro and was very intrigued, so I'm glad we met her. Uh, and she apparently has a spell that can let you converse with the dead. So now Furin and Ferdin are on their way to retrieve the spell. And it's at the old Demon King castle. And it's a 10-year journey. So they're going for it. So now we have a quest. I am four for four with crying every episode so far. I don't plan on stopping now. Um, so yeah, let's just get into this episode, which is called Phantoms of the Dead. Uh, okay. Okay. Time to relax. I gotta relax. All right, so please uh, subscribe, comment, do all that. And yeah, let's get into this episode. Freeden. Is that Aizen? Mm, yeah. <gasps> Whoa, this is like the first time. It doesn't start with the opening. Gorgeous, beautiful. We love her. Okay, we saw this last episode. Mm, Fern's like, no! <laughs> Please, not a long journey. But it's a good, it's a good, uh, good quest. <gasps> oh, I thought she was gonna be upset. Oh, she's excited! <laughs> See, like I said in the last episode. One one-hundredth of her life. Not even. Oh, we're seeing this again. Mm. Oh, so wise. Girl. Girl, you don't you do not know at this point. Mm. Yeah. Ah, you're so right. Oh, it changed her so much. See, it's not about how long you're together. It's about the memories you make while you are together. Now she's learning what it all meant to her. Look at this beautiful art. God damn. Half my life. Mm. Oh my god, so cute. Oh, that's sweet! Ah, okay. This Phantoms of the Dead. Phantoms of the Dead. Mm. <gasps> we get these. Oh, I don't think we got to hear this before. Or else. Well, she could die. Oh. Oh, hi, Tara. This is such a weird roundabout way of helping people. <laughs> That's so funny. Nish is clever. Oh, please, come on. Yeah. You know. You know. Oh. I like how that all went. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god. See, last episode was mother daughterly. Now it's like sisterly again. Oh my god. Fern is so gorgeous. Be 28 years. Okay, we're still at 28 years. We're in oh, Wild Region. Wille Region. Oh my gosh, all these German names. <laughs> I'm trying. Is mm. <gasps> that because of the name of the episode? Phantom, Ghost, whatever. And could be the undead. Wait, we got undead? Well, we have demons, so that's not crazy to think. 
Mm. And then like four months went by. Just kidding. Oh no, Fern's gonna want to see Hyter. Ah. Mm. Yeah. So it's different. It's a different. Yeah, their appearance wouldn't be t the same. Mm -hmm. Oh. <gasps> I want to know. But I want to know. Hmm. Oh, she was just going to leave? Oh, that's sweet. Oh my god. Beautiful. Love it. You get to see the sky, all oh, the water. So pretty. Oh, I love these environments. Oh my god. Stop. They're beautiful. Oh. I love every every second we get of these backgrounds. This anime needs an art book one day. Signs of magic. Mm. Illusion magic, you know, that makes sense to me. Mm. Right. Uh oh, they got a big, they got a big one on their hands. Phantoms of the dead. Gorgeous. Right. Oh, it tricks people luring them in. Oh. Yeah, it won't work on them. Yeah, but if she sees Hyter, she might freak out. Yeah, can you? If you see Hyter, could you? Oh, girl, I don't know. <gasps> oh my god. Oh no, Fern is so much more attached than Furin is. Yeah, what? I mean, I'm assuming she was with her master for a very, very, very long time. Yeah, just as I suspected. Literally right on cue. There he is. Come on, girl. She's like, I can do it. Don't fold. Don't, like, immediately fold. Stop. Do it. Come on, you said you could, and then immediately you're like, no, I can't. Oh, man. I, I can get, though, I can get. I can get where she's coming from, though, because that was, like, their last conversation. Mm. Yeah. That is hurtful. That is, it is hurtful. Yeah, free run will have to, oh. <gasps> Bitch, no, come the fuck on. Okay, he can stay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough one for you. Yeah, is it? Oh, who is the most important in her memories? Oh, he is. Yeah. He's such a king that even his phantom is like, fuck this shit. I know I'm not real, so just kill me. I love that for him. What a king. What an icon. Oh, good for you, Fern. That's beautiful. Yeah, fuck that. Himmel's so cool. He's like, nah, I'm not letting this happen. So cool. Oh, I love Himmel. I can totally see why he's the fan favorite. All right, I don't want to undermine Furin's strength as a character here. Obviously, this is her memories and her perception of Himmel. But her and I can both agree that this is iconic behavior. And she even says that that's what Himmel would say before she shoots him. So watching this back, I was like, no, I'm not giving Furin enough credit. But we both agree that Himmel would say something like that anyways. So yeah, um, I talk about Furin's part on this later on in the video, but right now, just know that I'm recognizing them both here. Both iconic behavior. Yeah. 
Let's go see the real Hyter now. Right, because then she could converse with him. Alright, we got 28 years after the death of him on the hero. Love that his death is the measurement of time here. That's a dra- Oh, a dragon? Shit. <gasps> the Grim War. Mm, this is tough. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool little detail. Oh. They're gonna take out a dragon? I mean, they took out the Demon King. They're gonna just fucking kill a dragon? Alright. Yeah, it has some barrier or something. Or it's its scales. Mm. It's awake. <laughs> She's like, alright, get out. I don't need it. I don't- oh. Oh, they're running. <gasps> I mean, the art's still beautiful. Oh my god, is she trying to use her staff like um a, a witch's broom? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Ah, this is what it means, Fern. Fern didn't even blink. She's wow. This is a true like gamer mentality, at least for me. Run away, come back. Run away, come back. <laughs> Fern's so cute. Man, their dynamic changes so much. <gasps> Do I get to meet? Do I get to meet the red-haired boy? Mm. Star, yes. I've been seeing him everywhere. Everywhere. He's oh, he's Eisen's apprentice. Is he good? I mean, I assume he's pretty good. If it's, he's just, we don't get any... You know when, like, they're quiet there? You know that means they're fucking good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What is this entrance gonna be? Mm. A spell that lets you see through clothes? What? That's very pervy. Whose clothes do you want to see through? Okay, but also, if I were a mage in this world, this would be my my hobby as well. Oh, hidden weapons. Yeah. What, what is he going to be doing, like, sitting under a waterfall or something? <gasps> Stark! I'm ready. Okay. I'm excited to meet this new character. Wonder if he's like just a normal mortal human. Wow, Stark's presence scared the dragon. Oh, okay. Okay, that dragon is an asshole. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So he is like a huge character. Mm. Hell yeah. Mm. I believe that. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Aizen. Oh my god. I'm sure Aizen told him about Furin. I'm sure. I'm sure he did. What? Why would you leave? Aizen. Aizen's the sweetest. Although Aizen's the most understanding person. Mm. Right. Oh my god, I, did we get to see them to fight, or fight the dragon, defeat the dragon? Tell him the spell. If he's a perv, it'll work. Oh, flashback time, flashback time! Oh. No, stop. She's. 
You have to understand. You just have to. Okay, it's hard to explain. Yeah, she's like, I know it's crazy. Yeah, that's the whole point. Come on, Stark. Let's go. Stark. Mm, yeah, I didn't really doubt the fact that he should be able to defeat it herself. I'm sure she just doesn't want to put Fern... Oh my god. She doesn't want to put Fern in danger. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I get a feeling. So he's a bit of a wimp, huh? I mean... I mean... I don't really blame him. Okay, he's just a human. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him for being scared. <gasps> he's a fraud. Your new killer move? Uh, cower in fear. Oh. No, he's strong as fuck. He's Aizen's apprentice, so... Yeah, Aizen would never. I, I think Aizen's pretty, probably pretty tough. I'm sure any of the four of them with apprentices would, they would be pretty tough on them. Oh. Who did that? It's clean. Hmm. Very interesting. Come on, Stark. This is the best deal for you. It's the best deal for you. You can do it. <laughs> They're all so impressed. The food looks so good again. <laughs> Shit, she's reading him. Yeah, it's a little scary. Like, Fern had Freer in his backup. Oh, okay. Also, Fern, like, ran the fuck away. <laughs> mm. It could be... Yeah, she knows. She knows there's, like, some potential there. So I'm guessing she wants to see... She wants Fern to see for herself how strong Stark is. Because I'm guessing Aizen told her, like... Girl, he's strong. Like, he's strong, strong. I think he's just kind of scared. Which is, you know... Oh, well. is he... oh there we go. Come on. Not what I was expecting to hear, but I'm not surprised right now. Mm, only one who... <gasps> Interesting. Okay, that's not the answer I was expecting. But he knows a lot. Okay, I had a feeling that that wall thing was him. I had a feeling that it seemed not man-made. Or it seemed man-made. The fissure was left, yeah. I, f I figured as soon as Freeran saw it, she was like, oh, she knows it's him. That's the end of the episode! Oh, I'm so excited to see Stark. Uh, I like that he's like a coward, but I like that Aizen... I didn't cry. Well, it wasn't really that sad of an episode. I broke my streak of crying every episode. Good for me. Um, wow. Oh, that was... I'm excited. That was like a build-up episode to um, watching them fight the dragon, which I assume is going to be next episode. Hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to see him because I've seen art of him everywhere. Art of him and Fern together, okay? I'm just saying. I've seen that a lot, so. I see that maybe something's going on there, maybe. But I don't really know more than that. I love that Firin knew. Like, as soon as she, like, touched that, the rocks, she's just, like, saw the cut in it. And she knew. She's not always so, like, um forward with how she figures things out like she doesn't always share what she figures out she lets people like experience it for themselves that's why she's like Fern you go I'm going to bed you go tell him and see how for yourself what he's capable of and maybe I didn't cry as much because there weren't as many flashbacks in this episode 
Maybe. Okay, what is this? An old hag. It must have been... Oh, You even tremble the same way. Oh, Okay, I'm excited to see Stark. I, I didn't know that he... I didn't know that he was Aizen's apprentice. Oh my god, that's so adorable. So Freeran and Aizen both have apprentices. I love the, the illusion magic at the beginning and how uh, Freeran realized that she's changed because her the illusion was of Himmel and not her master because her master, she found it like, like her master was like begging for her life. But I love that Himmel was just like, yeah, Freeran, just shoot me. That's what it is. <laughs> fantasist because that's just like how Himmel is oh my god he like it her like memories of him show that he would be steadfast and strong and that he wouldn't even like let it get that far with you know like he he wouldn't allow those memories to be manipulated and that's her memory of him that's so cool. Like, that's so cool. Like, she's so impressed by him, obviously, to see that, like, in that moment that he is smiling and says, just shoot me. Like, it can't even mess with her. And that's probably a testament to her own strength as a mage as well. And that she's been through this exact scenario before. And I'm sure she was, like, worried about Fern not being able, like, at first she was just like, Oh, maybe we should like just not do this and just leave town she's probably saying that for fern who probably isn't as like strong-willed but luckily it, it worked out for fern once she saw fear and do it um that was a really nice moment um really like that himmel is such a legend i love her memories of him that's so cool and <laughs> i'm excited uh, to see why she's so eager to get her hands on this grimoire. I guess it's like that obsession with getting spells, but a lot of her spells seem to tie in with other things. Um, so I, I'm like with the seeing through clothes thing, she said like for a second that you could see hidden weapons and stuff. I wonder if there's more to it than that, but I don't really know. It could That could be really it. But because she always has a bit more than she leads on, like there's always more going on with her than she lead, like than she's telling us. So I don't know. We'll see. I guess. Well, I'll see. I'm sure everyone else has already seen. But I like. I'm excited to see uh, Stark here, and the next episode will be the decisive factor of whether he joins or not, which I'm sure he does because I see him everywhere. Unfortunately, I can't avoid all spoilers as much as I try. Sometimes I just open something and there's a ton of free run art there. So I'm just like, ah. But yeah. I love that. Okay, I like Stark's introduction was not what I thought he was just gonna be like the strongest fuck guy. And it's, it turns out that he's like a coward, but he's also very strong. And I like how Aizen like picked him as picked him up as an apprentice because they both have like the same sort of backstory. He he his village was destroyed and he was the only and he ran and Aizen was the only one who lived from his village being destroyed. Well, everyone's friggin villages get destroyed. Uh, I like how much Fern is so unimpressed by Stark right now. I'm sure that's gonna change but I like that Freeran's like just go see for yourself. Go see for yourself what he's doing and what he's capable of and then next episode I guess we will see. That was a really good episode. Oh. Not emotional so much. Uh, maybe just the part with the illusion, seeing Heiter and Himmel, and that's about it. Seeing Heiter, I knew as soon as like they talked to illusion magic, I was like, oh god, Fern's gonna see Heiter and she's gonna freak out. <laughs> like she's gonna be like, I can do it, and then as soon as she shows up, she's like, I cannot do this. <laughs> Luckily, with Freeran's uh, not backing down, it helps her. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this episode. Um, I'm sure it's like an episode that leads into another one. So yeah, interesting. I'm excited for the next one too. Uh, yes, so thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Please like and like and subscribe. And yeah, um, have a good day. Bye bye. See you in episode six.